Hello Topper fans and Edheads. I haven't vlogged in a while and the reason for that is because I don't really feel like getting up in front of a camera and yammering on at lightning speed. It's just not really who I am right now. But I do still very much want to vlog, so what I thought I'd do is I thought I'd address some of the big things that people have been saying in the comments for Ed's World lately. Uh, in case you don't know, Ed's World is a show that I've been working on since I was about 12 or 14 years old. Uh, and recently its creator and my good friend Ed Gould passed away. I talk about that a little more over here. But anyway, I've been left in charge of the show now, and so I thought, yeah, I would address some of your questions. So, without further ado, here are some definitive facts about Ed's world. Number one, Tord. Tord Larsen is a Norwegian guy who played the character of Tord in the show until about 2008 when he left because he didn't really like the fans and the attention that they gave him. But instead of letting us just replace his character's voice actor, he insisted that we took the character out of the show entirely, and Ed did it in a really stupid way, so kind of it just opened up this Pandora's box of crazy fans that never left him alone to the extent that he now can't use his real name. Please leave him alone. But then again, the voice actor may be returning to do a couple lines in an upcoming episode, but overall he is never going to return to the show. The character, however? We will see. Number two, Ed. The new voice actor for the character Ed will be played by Tim Houtke. I cast him after auditioning a plethora of my friends. Tom, get that engine working! 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 Tom! And I found him to be the most appropriate, and I hope that in future episodes you agree with my decision. Number three, charity. All the Ezel profits will be going to charity, and that includes all the money we make off YouTube and all the money we make selling merchandise. Which charity, however, is undecided, but I can certainly say that it will not be a cancer research charity. Put down your pitchforks. We're interested in working directly with a charity that provides stuff for young adults with cancer. Uh, when you are a kid or a teenager with cancer, you have things available that will provide stuff like video games and TVs and internet and fun stuff for you while you're suffering from it. But once you hit a certain age, around 18 or so, you get none of these things and that really sucks. A majority of the last year of Ed's life was spent in a boring hospital room where he had no internet access, no communal areas, and a terrible TV that was really expensive to run. So even if it's just something simple like providing internet access or video games to as many hospitals as possible, we just want to make sure that the show's money goes into making the cancer having experience as not horrible and boring as it can be. Number four, production costs. A lot of people have been saying stuff like, oh, why do you need money to make the show? Ed did it for free. No, he didn't. He made a solid salary of somewhere up to about 24,000 pounds a year making the show because it was his job, and now it's our jobs, so we need to get paid for doing our jobs, because that's how jobs work. You are dumb. So I hope that clears up a lot of the questions you guys have had about Ed's world, and please spread these truths around, and if you see someone in the YouTube comments who just doesn't know this stuff, then in the least dickish way possible, let them know. So thank you guys, and I hope that helped. Tom Scar out.